cooking for you because it's birthday week um, for boyfriend and I'm making his favorite meals. Also, uh, today I had a photo shoot with a friend of mine and I got some headshots and just some general pictures taken. So I was out all day around Railroad Square and such and I can't wait to show you guys the pictures, but they'll be edited and stuff um, hopefully by next on. It's time to start cooking and today we'll be making chicken pot pie. And the first step with chicken pot pie is cutting and cooking the chicken. All done. Okay, clean as you go. You just sort of toss it around until it looks like chicken. Chicken cooked. Next step is to not get angry because someone who shall remain nameless has walked away and taken your casserole dish. Instead, we're going to use a brownie pan. And we're going to need uh, one can of cream of chicken condensed soup, some mixed veggies, uh, biscuits, which will be the topper, we'll do that next, um, and chicken. Next, we put the biscuits on top. Nice and smooth. Now we just check on the oven. And set the timer for 15 minutes. And we'll check on it in then. We wait for that. Uh, good. Uh, there's Strombo at the store now, so. Hey guys, so while that's in the oven, I'd like to talk to you about the Bechdel test. And um, I'm sure you guys know what the Bechdel test is. And for those of you watching who don't know what the Bechdel test is, the Bechdel test was started off of, based off of a comic strip, which actually wasn't, it's not used in the way it was originally intended, but I'll put a link in the description. <laughs> um, the Bechdel test is Basically, if a woman speaks to another woman about something other than a man, that is passing the Bechdel test. Um, and this conversation came up between Carly Rae, boyfriend, and I because I was I'm lying on the floor because <laughs> I was in pain because I hurt my back. And there was an art. We were talking about an article uh, ba talking about Doctor Who and using the Bechdel test to compare the different companions and uh, how much time they got to speak and how feminist. Doctor Who was as opposed to how it is right now. And it was really interesting um, and we talked about, ended up talking about the usage of the Bechdel test and whether or not it was actually being used in the way that it was originally intended and whether or not it's useful in this way. Uh, and whether or not it's useful in comparison, in comparing individual movies as opposed to comparing society as a whole. Now I don't know whether or not it's useful in comparing actual movies like using it on a movie to movie basis I don't know I'm not sure I'm really conflicted on that however I feel very strongly when it comes to the Bechdel test being a show of how we see women in our media today and how we don't get to see women in our media today now I have a lot of anger when it comes to media and what's going on and casting and how few people of color are out on screen and those people of color what kind of roles they get to do it's kind of it, it's a personal issue for me obviously um, being an actress myself but specifically I want to talk about women and how we don't get screen time and we don't get to talk to other people and yes you can have a feminist movie without a woman without being able to pass the Bechdel test I heard examples I struggle with that a lot though because it shouldn't be at all a thing to not have a woman speaking to another woman about something other than a man our lot because our lives don't revolve around men I don't know about you guys well I do know about you guys but I don't know about other viewers it does my life does not revolve around men most of my conversations with my female friends are not about men you know, it's, I actually had a rare, lovely moment um, this weekend. Uh, I just met Carly Rae's friend, 
and we got to talk about relationship and I got to, you know, give some great advice and I felt really good about myself and I realized I don't talk about men. I don't really talk about boyfriends, like, ever. I have a boyfriend. I am very into my boyfriend, but he doesn't come up in my conversation because he's not my life. And very rarely was that ever a point in my life where it just was had to talk about the male and men in my life as a constant. It's it's never really been a thing. And that's because I don't think that media is viewing... Well, I think what the Bechdel test says, and by the fact that most movies fail the Bechdel test, what that says as a general statement is that... is that you're not portraying women as people. You're portraying women most of the time, now not all the time, but most of the time uh, in media women are being portrayed as objects for men. There's a difference, it was a lot of the article that I really loved, there's a difference between being a love interest and existing for the sole purpose of being a love interest. Um, anyway, I messed up my timer. It's time to check on the oven, on the food. <laughs> Ta-da! Wow, do you guys can smell? It smells great. Um, so that's my chicken pot pie. Um, I won't get to show you guys cutting into it and trying a bite because not if you, not if you want your video before tomorrow. Um, just because it's gonna, not going to be eaten until much, much later. All right, thanks for listening to me, um, you guys, and joining me on my cooking journey. Chicken pot pie with biscuit crust. I look forward to seeing all your videos. I loved hearing all your opinions. It's so great to have well-versed friends um, this past week. And I will see you next Monday.